What's going on, everybody? That's right, creeping around the backside of Armand and the camera. It is Marathon Mondays with Mal. I'm Mal Williams here at the headquarters of Marathon Coach. 1297 behind me. We're going to hang out in it a little bit this morning. We're going to drive around. We're going to do a little talk. We've got the co host, Dave Bash, with us today. So we're going to take some of your questions. Um, not that he needs softballs, but serve up some good softballs for Dave if you've got questions for him. Um, you know, we're going to talk about 1297 because this is a really beautiful coach that's for sale. It's one of the latest from Marathon, and it's a really bright, really nice floor plan. Let's head inside, start the conversation. Uh, slides are pulled in. You'll notice that right away, and we're going to drive off. But before we do that, I wanted to show off the latest from the boutique. If you've been to Marathon, and that's one thing we're going to talk about this morning, is coming to Marathon during the summer. If you've been to Marathon, you know we have a boutique. I think it's in the process of uh, putting it online. Some of the items will be online, but this is the latest. This is a great jacket. Take a look at this. I'm going to turn around. Even though it's summer, this is a nice lightweight jacket to go on a walk in the morning or in the evenings. Uh, zips up nice. I really like it, so I applaud Terry for bringing in such a great style. Men's and women's in this color. I love the fact that we ordered men's and women's cut jackets in this color. In the women's, we also uh, have a different color. I believe it's a blue and gray. Um, but um, a couple of customers, customers of mine that were in uh, last week that uh, did a custom order, 1318, excited for them. They're the first to have these jackets. So, uh, yeah, stop in and see these jackets. However, that's not the most exciting thing I have for you. Check this out, everybody. All right. <laughs> right, Dave? Check it out. This is the new bucket hat from Marathon Coach. It's literally designed in-house with a bunch of marathon coaches on it. Isn't that great? So for those of you who are looking for a good lightweight bucket hat representing marathon, this is what you can get. I'm gonna pop the side too. This is what you can get out of the boutique. Lightweight bucket hat. I'm a big fan of the jacket too. Anyway, let me uh, derobe here. Let's head on inside and get this thing started. This is a really good uh, angle, Armand. Take a look at that beautiful paint on 1297 before we head on in. You got the sun coming in. Beautiful coach. All right, let's head on in. I'll let you, uh, depending on, uh, Dave, where are you gonna sit? Let's head on it. No, guess not. Of the hat. Oh, I love it. Yeah, everybody, tell me what you think of the hat. Tell me what you think of the jacket. We're going to fire up. The coach is already running. I'm going to um, let's see if I can get this going here. All right. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we'll just get it. We'll just get it. We'll just get it going. All right. So, everybody, how was your fault? Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this. Everybody knows I'm about the socks, right? Take a look at these Father's Day socks. Can't hold them up now. That is a gift wow. from my wife. It's my kids on my socks. I know we talk about socks on here. Socks are important. It's an accessory that you can show color. And uh, there are no rules to the sock game. Normally we have the hazards on, but for the sake of the video, we're going to have the hazards off. We got Dave Bash here with us today. Everybody, here's why I wanted to get into 1297. And Armand will take a couple of shots of us driving around and a couple of shots of the coach while we are driving around. I wanted to show you just how busy it is here at Marathon Coach. If you are coming in for service, you need to call in. Talk, call Angie in our service department make an appointment. The service department gets busy, whether it be from normal routine maintenance on your coach or uh, remodels. We've got a lot of remodels going on, a lot of upgrades going on. You know, if you've got outdated TVs, you want someone trusted to do it. 
I see uh, 1301. I think, Dave, you pulled that in, didn't you? Yep. 1301 there in the wash rack. <clears throat> so if you're headed uh, down I-5 or up I-5, stop into Marathon. One of the things I want to tell you about is the daily tours. We're going to talk about a lot of different things today, and I want your questions uh, for either myself or for Dave. Um, yeah, the daily tour. Daily at 11.30, we take you on a factory tour. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. It never should. Um, that's a cool coach right there. Take a look at that. It's got my duck mascot in the, <laughs> in the front. Very cool. Um, yeah, stop in. Take a tour. I'd love to take you around, show you what Marathon is all about, and you get a really good idea of a tour that goes all throughout our campus from the paint department to the cabinet shop to the electrical to uh, you know spending some time on the production floor. All these coaches are here for all kinds of different reasons. Some of them are here for service. Some of them are here for sales. Some of them, they're just passing through. And because they're part of the Marathon family, they get to stop in here and uh, rest their wheels overnight or a couple of days or what have you but if you're looking to stay uh, don't forget to call Angie in our service department and uh, make sure that we've got room for you and make sure that uh, you have an appointment because like I mentioned earlier our sales department our service department is quite busy there's coach 1255 right there Armand can you see 1255 we're gonna head right towards it the H yep 1202. 1202, excuse me. 1255 has already been moved. That's one I got back with late Friday night. There you go. Dave drove that in. We'll show you 1255 on the other side. Here's coach 1209. Still for sale out here. Low miles. Eight-year-old coach, custom coach. It's a great value for someone. So as we drive around here, the other thing I want to tell you about, if you're going to stop in, and something that our marathon owners know quite, quite, about, quite a lot a bit about is our Wine Wednesdays. They'll be starting up pretty soon. During the summer here at the headquarters, we do Wine Wednesdays. Uh, our marketing team puts a lot of time into uh, kind of a weekly reception for guests of Marathon that are here at Camp Marathon and in the afternoon on Wednesdays, uh, refreshments in the showroom floor and a good chance to look at the latest from Marathon and that, as Dave will tell you, that inventory in the showroom floor constantly is changing. Um, what else is going on? Hope everyone had a good Father's Day. We've got a lot of things going on. I will be out and about all summer. If you're looking uh, to uh, meet up with me, I will be all over the West Coast this summer, all the way from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to um, Idaho. I'll be up in Idaho in the Coeur d'Alene area for the 4th of July. Pacific... Sh we have questions? Okay. Also, I'll be in uh, Pacific Shores down uh, in Newport, Oregon on the Oregon coast for um, several times this summer. And if you haven't been to uh, Pacific Shores, it's uh, there's 1255 right over there. Yep. Beautiful coach. That, uh, that 1255 is a consignment that's going to be coming soon. So don't hesitate to... Uh, reach out to me. Uh, we'll be doing a show on 1255 because it's a fantastic coach that's uh, going to be up on the website soon. Mickey, let's start with a question. What do you got? All right. The first question I have is, will the paint shop paint a car to match a coach? Let's drive around and answer that question. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on the hazards and I'm going to tell you why. If you look out the front of the coach there, a lot of our employees are headed out for break. This is break time, and we want to make sure that we uh, 
see them and they see us, so we just put on the hazards. There's Michael over there. You know, that's one thing that uh, I was thinking about on Father's Day is uh, when we do this show, Dave, we're representing um, we're representing everyone that works here, and it's it's our honor to be doing that and be out there and show everybody what Marathon is all about because there's a lot of talented people that love and care this for this company and and are excited to see marathons get built. Um, let's talk about the paint department. We're going to head on down, back down there. Yes, the question was, will the Marathon Paint Department paint cars, automobiles? The answer is absolutely. They've done it. They will do it. Just uh, give Angie in service a call, or you can email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. We'll get you a quote. That quote will also be representative of a time quote, how long it's going to take. So, yes, we paint cars, trailers, uh, bicycle helmets, motorcycles, your motorcycle tank. Um, like, let's say you've got a coach and you want <coughs> your trailer to match. We saw that on 1291 with that ultimate custom trailer um, that Bernie did on 1291 with his matching trailer. We've seen that with tow vehicles. Uh, Dave, you've been around a long time. What have you seen our paint department do? Golf carts, motorcycles, motorcycle helmets, just any myriad of things. And if you get your car painted or your tow vehicle painted to match your coach, then our designer works just like on the coach and gets you to pick what you want on the vehicle. And... Uh, get it done and since we're live and we can do we just passed Jay Graham the head of the engineering department talk about a talented person let's just uh, let's just stop right here and head on out the rules are of Marathon Mondays that there are no rules until Armand our uh, head of video tells me to stop uh, we're gonna head on out and talk about the paint department since we are right by it That'll give us a good opportunity to kind of peek in the doors and see what's happening in the paint department on a Monday morning. As we're walking over there, Mickey, any other questions? We have one for Dave. Question for Dave, okay. So, um, Ron, who's watching from Philadelphia, wants to know, Dave, which coach model do you like to drive? The H or the X and Y? Just wondering if the seating position has an advantage over um, one than the other. That's a good one. So Ron is from where again? Philadelphia. Philly. So Ron from Philly wants to ask Dave specifically, which which uh, model does Dave like to drive? The H or the X? This is the ultimate question. I say it comes <laughs> down to preference, but also Dave has a lot more experience at driving than I do. Dave, what what, what uh, give us the give us the top thing, the one thing about driving the H and the X that you like? I like them both. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you drive a, a they lot both of, drive, both of them. They both drive real well. And on the, on the newer coaches, you've got the suspension system that that adjusts itself as you're going around corners. And so they both drive really well. Yeah, you know, and I think at, at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day, whatever that means, that it comes down to preference. Am it's I right? Different for different people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, we could get into the differences of the chassis, but the bottom line is the drivability of either or is absolutely amazing and it comes it down to preference. Yeah. Let's peek in the paint department over here. We can suggest that you come and test one for yourself. Yeah, good point. You know, and that's another thing. One thing we're gonna be doing down in Indio this next season, uh, we're gonna be doing test drives weekly. So if you're looking to test drive a Prevo and you're serious about getting into a marathon, you need to email me, malw at marathoncoach.com because it gives you a good opportunity to get behind the wheel of either an H or an X and really experience it.
we don't want to lose too much Wi-Fi. But as you can see, we've got uh, a couple of coaches in here for, um, we got brand, a brand new coach behind us. We've got a few coaches being repainted. Um, I really like that over there. That's pretty. That's Coach 804. Say it again. It's Coach 804. 804? Yeah. Look at the flare above the fender. It's pretty, isn't it? Well, let's head this way, Armand. Uh, I did see a question about the new, the, uh, about uh, suspension. If you're interested in, in um, asking about the suspension, email me and I will uh, send you a description on that suspension. Let's head on down this way. Hey Mel. Yeah. Why don't you give out, um, give a shout out to John in St. Louis, home of the Stanley Cup champions. Stanley Cup <laughs> champions. <laughs> the Blues finally won the Stanley Cup. Uh, okay, how long, how long have they been a franchise? First person to answer that wins a, uh, wins a high five from me the next time I see you. <laughs> congratulations. Is it John in St. Louis? It is. John in St. Louis, congratulations to you and your hometown team, St. Louis Blues, winning the Stanley Cup. Lord Stanley uh, is proud of you. But how long have the Blues been a franchise? And this is their first. I don't know that answer. So someone weigh in and no Googling. I told you about Google. All right. Someone's probably going on saying, uh -huh. okay, Google, or uh, Alexa, tell me the blah, blah, blah. Forget what Mel said. 52 years, two exclamation points 52 from, John. from John, so he knows. 52 years, five decades of no cup, the St. Louis Blues, congratulations. As you can see, this is kind of what I wanted to do this morning, show you just how busy it's getting here uh, at the headquarters. Lots of coaches being built. Um, 1301, you saw it down in the wash rack, it's for sale. 1297, we're driving it around, it's for sale. Uh, 1302, it's sold, it's going to be heading out with the new owner very soon. 1303. 1303, a very good point. Beautiful coach. 1303, we saw it on Marathon Mondays with myself and Al Christensen just last week. It's on the east side of paint. It's on the east side of paint? Beautiful coach. So, um, yeah, stop in at Marathon Headquarters this summer. If you're here for service, make an appointment with Angie. It's very important because we want you to get in. We want you to get in for what you need to be, what you need to take care of on your coach. If you're interested in upgrading, email me. If you're interested in buying a coach, get a hold of me. I'll talk to you about what we have available, whether it be inventory, anywhere in the Marathon fold. Uh, you know, I, my primary reason for being here is to sell you a coach. So get a hold of me. I'd love to get you down the road and get you enjoying uh, this amazing country of ours out there with your family or by yourself in a marathon. Dave, what are you doing this week? PDIs. Yes, and that's another good point. Uh, Pre-delivery inspection. Uh, that's one thing that our service department does. Not that you're not busy enough, but... Uh, one of the best things you can do for your coach or if you're looking to buy a coach talk to me about the pre-delivery inspection Dave Bash we already know it from Marathon Mondays one of the most experienced people at looking at coaches whether they be the 30 year old version of a marathon or a brand new marathon a pre-delivery inspection really can give you a good idea of what you're walking into so uh, I know you're working on uh, 1255. You're finishing up 1255. Trying to. That's a consignment I just took in, um, and I'll be proud to represent that coach and sell that to the next marathon owner. 1255 is a great coach. It's going to be a great price point, low miles. And, um, yeah, so for someone who's looking to get into a double slide X3 that's only a couple years old, malw at marathoncoach.com. I've got a cold, so my voice is really illing. Really? Oh, I couldn't tell. Harsh game for the people. <laughs> Before we break out, anything else, Mickey, for us? So Rodney's looking forward to seeing the new X3 front end. 
Um, Jerome would like to know how many coaches we have in production at one time. That's a good question. Uh, Jerome is asking how many coaches we have in production at one time. It varies, but you can just assume that right now, off the top of my head, between what we do is, <coughs> pardon the cough, you guys, I'm trying to hold it in. They drive 3,000 miles from Quebec to here. They go into coach, they go into shell prep. After shell prep, which is about a week, they go into paint. Paint for about a ha uh, about three weeks. After paint, they go into production. So between shells driving from Quebec in the paint department and down on the production floor, there's about eight or nine right now. That's an estimate. We are constantly building coaches and we build more coaches than the competition combined. And I'm proud to say that because we do an amazing job at building these coaches. Uh, anything else, Mickey? Jake would like to know how long it takes to paint one of the coaches. I know that varies by paint job. It does, and, and this is something that is an, an interesting aspect. Um, and I've watched Pete Sutton talk about it quite a lot. Uh, a paint job can be 22 days or a paint job can be 26 days. It depends on uh, how custom it is, the art that it takes to go into it, the techniques that go into painting it. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's not a full month but it's darn near, darn near. So, other than that, Dave, how was your Father's Day? It was good. Good. Mine was excellent. I, I finished the day by doing yard work. Uh, we were all in the backyard, so that was, a, that was nice. Get to spend it with my family. Very good. Yeah. All right, everybody, don't forget to get a hold of me. You know my email, malw at marathoncoach.com. For you YouTubers, thank you so much for watching. You Facebookers, you know I appreciate you also. Um, thanks again to Dave Bash, the co-host of Marathon Mondays with Mal. So for Armand and Mickey, we're going to get out of here and uh, drive 1297 around to the front of I-5. Stop in and see me. I'd love to meet you. Have a good morning and be yourself and do good things. Bye, folks.